Here at France Eye Care, there's a team of experts who care about your health. And now is your chance to get to know these medical professionals with Ask the Experts. So let's catch up with Dr. Stephen Haydit. And believe it or not, he didn't always want to be an optometrist. Actually, I wanted to be a dentist from when I was 10 until I was about 22. Um, I found out I wasn't that interested in dentistry. I wanted to be a doctor of some sort. Um, and then I looked at optometry where I could kind of combine my like of physics, taking care of patients um, and creativity um, to go into my specialty lens, specialty that I like to do right now. And that's what took me here. And his journey to becoming an optometrist was a unique one. So I chose to do an optional residency after optometry school. Um, I did choose to do it in ocular disease. Um, my specialty contact lens kind of unique thing that I do was self-taught. Um, so I knew I could do that while I was in residency. I wanted to be a more well-rounded doctor. So with my residency in ocular disease, followed by the self-taught specialty lens um, practice that I do, kind of gave me a better opportunity to be in a more full practice eye care. So my residency was at Bay Pines VA uh, in St. Pete. Uh, Bay Pines VA is extremely busy. Um, it's relatively underserved due to how busy it is. The eye clinic itself sees more patients per year with the least amount of providers in comparison to any other VA in the entire United States. So as a result, I chose there because I wanted to have the most patient experience that I could. Um, while I was there, I really enjoyed treating veterans. I enjoyed learning the life aspects from them while being able to learn eye care uh, as a resident there. Uh, my grandfather was also 21 years in the Air Force, so that gives me a close relationship with veterans as well. And when Dr. Hayden joined the France Eye Care team, he brought something special to the practice. The France Eye Care gave me the opportunity to have state-of-the-art technology to where I can actually create 3D models of eyes, um, then design a contact lens that fits on top of that to solve a whole multitude of problems. Um, variable disease, um, give people lenses that they actually sleep in, and then when they wake up, they take them out and they don't wear any correction all day. Um, reduces the progression of nearsightedness in children, better for young adults who are not good LASIK candidates or refractive candidates and several other diseases. So the initial draw to specialty contact lenses was more related to the physics component along with the creativity. Um, the specialty lenses that I order, I don't order them from a manufacturer. I design them myself um, with a computer software that's similar to an engineering CAD program. Um, so it's much more customizable than anything you can order from any manufacturer um, or anything similar to that. So if you were to think of a contact lens like a pizza pie, um, if you were to slice that pizza pie into four slices, and then within that, add a few segments of those slices. That is as specific as you can get with any contact lens manufacturer. Um, that's across the world. The contact lenses that I make instead have 84 pizza slices, followed by 224 segments within those pizza slices. Each one can be carefully designed by myself after looking at the 3D model of the eye to fit the patient best for their eye health, but also for their best vision. What I didn't realize I was going to enjoy so much was the patient satisfaction, um, which comes from these lenses. Some patients are unable to see without them. Other patients are used to wearing glasses, contacts, children specifically, um, and they can now live their day without any glasses or contact lenses, while at the same time it can reduce their prescription that was advancing, um, which could lead them to further eye problems and actually permanent vision loss. I enjoy giving people the gift of sight. France Eye Care, creating better vision for a better life.